Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Today. I'm Spencer, where every day I give you something new and interesting about how to draw, sketch, and see the world around you. And if you're like me and you have an iPad Pro, you've probably been looking for apps that can help you draw that are affordable and good. And one that I've come across is Concepts. I was contacted by the maker of Concepts and told a little bit about the app. And so I just wanted to kind of go over this uh, app experience and show you some of the features of the app. Now, I'm not paid or endorsed by these guys. I'm just giving you my raw, uh, unfiltered opinion here. So if you want, there's several other videos on YouTube you can check out as well because I'm sure I won't cover everything that this app can do. Now, Concepts was designed with capturing ideas or concepts in mind. Um, specifically more as a quick tool for capturing those things. So I wouldn't spend a ton of time in this app actually rendering or coloring something out, mostly because I think it's not the most efficient way to do that kind of thing, like paint or finish an entire rendering. However, if you're quickly capturing an idea, it presents you with some tools that you might be familiar with. For example, we have here a pencil, another pencil tool, pen, marker, like you'd have an industrial design sketching, an eraser, you can fill an area, for example. So let's take a look at the pencil tool first of all. So if I tap the pencil tool, I'm presented with a couple things. Here I have an option to change the size of this pencil. I can drag this indicator here and have a smaller or wider stroke and that gives me a preview of the stroke. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see uh, a little closer here. In fact, let's rotate the iPad so we can get more of this in frame. But again, if I tap this little icon, I can scale my pencil up or down. Now, the app works by basically recording vector data. Um, I haven't delved too much into exporting from the app, but everything you see is really vector-based. So that means that it is quick, it's snappy, you can go and change the settings of stroke. I'll cover that in a future video, but I just want to show you the look and feel of each stroke. So here's the pencil. If I were doing, as I always like to do, you guys know me, something like a car sketch. So let's get this back to a reasonable size. I could draw my lips. It is pressure sensitive, so the harder I press, the darker that stroke is, okay? But you can see there is the look, feel, and effect of the pencil, right? So if you like that look and feel, this is the uh, this is a pretty good pretty good app and tool. Now, one thing that is a little bit confusing for me is the concept of layers. I'm not really sure how to manage these per se. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. I think the way it works is that it creates a layer based on the tool that you're using. So let's say if I start drawing with a pen and I go to my layers, oh, it didn't do that. Um, I've had it, however, generate a layer based on the tool that I'm, I'm using. So in any case, just wanna let you guys know, the layers thing is a little bit different than you might be accustomed to. And obviously I need to spend a little bit more time with it but certainly that's okay. I do like, however, how the pen tool works. So just something simple like sketching out a box, okay? You can see it kind of has a familiar feel. You know when you draw with a pen and it starts a little thicker and goes thin, okay? And if you slow down, it's thicker, but if you speed up, it's, it's kind of thinner. So I really like that they're trying to capture that, okay? So for an industrial designer or someone quickly capturing an idea, so let's say I wanted to turn this into a cool table, this cube, okay? I could sketch some legs in here and come back, let's use our eraser tool, get rid of the rest and even finish out the background so that now I have kind of the outline of this table and maybe there's kind of an inset piece here that I can sketch. So again, it's, it's nice in the sense that I can use this as a quick lightweight tool for sketching something out. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer as well and make a new layer. And let's do something like, let's say I were 
just sketching a nice neat little box and I wanted to color this box in. I really like the marker tool that you find in the concept apps app rather. So here's the marker tool and this will actually give me an opportunity to talk about the color selection tool which is actually really cool as well. So if I tap the palette I'm presented with a wheel of color and this wheel of color is actually based on the Copic marker color wheel. So those markers that you're familiar with you can have access to those colors. So if I wanted to shade this in for example and have a nice gradient you can see that the tone builds much like a regular marker would okay have that tone build and I can come in and erase what I don't need now I wasn't careful I didn't do this on a new layer but in any case I just wanted to show you how the tone of that marker really does build and you get a really nice effect um, it's a little bit hard to see but one of the other cool things about concepts is it really does give you a nice grain to what you're doing I can let's see if I go to okay see I'm not totally used to the interface here so I'm a little bit lost uh, da, 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 da. Okay, like I said, obviously I need to spend a little bit more time, but if you go to configure, oh, here we go, configure, you can actually adjust uh, the type of paper that you're sketching with. So I can hit crumpled, go back, and now it's actually, it's hard to see on the video, but you see that little crease right there? So now this paper is actually crumpled paper, okay? Which means that it has the appearance of being crumpled. And as I zoom out, you can kind of see that a little bit better. Um, one of the features that this app also boasts is the idea of kind of this infinite canvas. Because it is vector based, you can zoom out pretty far, sketch a bunch of stuff, zoom in, crop, export part of your canvas, or export the whole thing as well. So pretty interesting concept or idea for quickly capturing your ideas. Um, like I said, I haven't spent as much time as I'd like to spend in the app. But I do plan on doing another follow-up video after I've spent some more time taking a look at this. But it seems like a fairly promising tool for an industrial designer or even a graphic designer or a user interface designer. Someone who wants to quickly capture ideas. Um, I do know that they have some built-in tools as well that you can use um, for doing things like drawing straight lines. Or here's this tool for filling in a shape, for example. Um, so there are some good options for you. Um, if you're kind of a designer, whether it's industrial designer who likes to work freehand or someone who likes to work with tools a little bit more. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this has been useful and that you've gotten some good information out of it. If you have, please share the video and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that way you'll get updates of when I post a new video about drawing and sketching and all that good stuff. If you want, you can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash sketchaday or on Instagram at sketchaday.com. And yes, I'm also on Twitter at Daily Sketches. And as always, you can leave a comment below. I love replying and seeing what you guys are up to and what kind of things you, lo you like talking about and want to see here on the channel. So please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Sketchaday.